Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this has been a good discussion tonight. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank the good gentleman from the 27th, my colleague, my friend, who has worked diligently on what he believes is a good proposal, a good package, a good bill that is in front of us tonight. Mr. Speaker, I would love to agree with him 100%, but I just can't, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I've heard you say it a couple times, refer to the policy. So the policy in front of us tonight, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we've heard from the gentleman in the 47th and many others about how we've listened to the operating budget writers and appropriations and everything else. But Mr. Speaker, we've only listened to one side on this policy. Mr. Speaker, many of the priorities that have been laid out before us tonight on this policy reflect only one side. You see, Mr. Speaker, we started on a journey a couple of years ago when the discussion came before us about a transportation package. Now we know the problem statement, we know it well. We know we need revenue. We know our transportation system is in dire straits. We know we have projects. Mr. Speaker, we need to finish what we've started. We haven't even finished the last package that was just done a few short years ago, six years ago. <clears throat> but Mr. Speaker, instead of getting together, both sides of the aisle, all of us, working on a Please speak directly to the policy and not to the process. Please proceed. Mr. Speaker, the process is part of the policy, if I may, Mr. Speaker. We have to talk about how we went about putting this together. This policy in front of us tonight, Mr. Speaker, is a very big transportation revenue package. It's full of taxes and fees. It's full of things that we've debated tonight, that we've talked about, that we agree and disagree on. We put forth amendments tonight on this policy, many good ideas to show a different path, ideas that could have been discussed if we were together at the beginning. Mr. Speaker, the good gentleman of the 27th went out in the state and talked to many people, but the problem is he did it on his own. Mr. Speaker, this is not the right way to do transportation for Washington State now or in the future. There's a better way. We've described it. We should do it. And for that reason, I can't support this policy. And I encourage the body to join me in a no. And let's do it the right way together in a bipartisan way for all the people. Further remarks. 